Hello and welcome to a new series called Positions for Practice. The aim of this series is to jump into a daily race without any practice, without any qualifying, and however many positions we make up, that's how many qualifying laps we get. Before we get into the main video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, so we're going to get started with the Watkins Glen short course. Now this is a track that I've never done before, never had any practice, I've only ever seen snippets of clips from example like Rory Alexander and people like him, so this was a interesting start. Didn't help that I was in the, the wrong view to begin with. Felt really low down then in that camera angle. The guy's got to run us straight away. Great start. As we're heading towards the chicane, as it is on most lap ones on tracks like this, there's always carnage because cars are so close together. Someone's gone off. So we end up picking up two easy spots. And as we're coming up to the end of lap one, I massively overshoot it here. Whoa, okay. I didn't give myself half a second penalty. Ah, at this point I hadn't realised how unforgiving the track limits were. So at the start of lap two, Mr McLaren man has a run on us. Yeah, he ends up breaking very early there and it, and it catches us completely off guard. We ended up giving him a love tap and we sent him to get familiar Amazing. with the people in the stands. I absolutely sent him then. Apologies. Much better. So in terms of pit strategy, I didn't really have a plan for this one so I just decided to do it on lap two. And didn't realise that you will get massively penalised if you uh, go over the pit lines. As we're exiting the pits, I just made the same stupid mistake again of crossing the yellow line. And um, what do you know? What? What? <laughs> Coming up to the end of lap five, it's not been the best start to the race, but we are beginning to catch people who are boxing. Are we actually going to get, get out ahead of people here? And we do end up jumping Mr. McLaren, man. On lap 8, this was the lap I realised how unforgiving the track limits were. If you can tell by my reaction, I clearly was not expecting that kind of penalty. Wow! Okay, so track limits at Watkins Glen are very, very unforgiving. But this is the first time I've ever raced this track, so it's all learning experience. He is. As soon as he's right behind us, I think we'll let him past. Yeah, he's creeping up on us now on the radar. So at the start of lap 9, I had decided that Mr. McLaren Man was far too fast for us, so at the earliest chance we would just let him past, seeing as we did send him into the stands 7 laps ago. Yeah, we'll let him go. By doing this, it did leave us last, but it was definitely the fair thing to do. And after that, nothing happened for six laps. But because of people leaving, we did actually end up making three more places. Well, the Wooden Spoon Award goes to us. Four positions, but can we can we actually class that as four positions? Well, we did end up classing that as four positions gained, so we ended up doing four qualifying laps. Okay, so we've got four laps. On lap one, we ended up doing a 116.4. Lap two was a 119.6. Lap three was a 115.7. Okay, there it is, four laps. 
fastest of 115.3. Okay, second attempt. Let's see where we are on the qualifying list. 12th so far, okay, 12th out of 16, okay. Not bad. So we ended up doing four qualifying laps and moving up four places. It's not the best, but I think it's a good start. A few people in the NSX. Okay, here we go. So for our second attempt, turn one was a lot better, a lot more controlled. Didn't catch us out this time, ended up making the place on Plars. Okay, decent start. Tom right, right behind us. He wants to get a move on straight away. I reckon he's going to go for a dive bomb into the chicane. Oh no, he's backed off. Okay. I think he just gave us a bit of a bump. Thank you. So, as always, at the end of lap one, we've got a few people darting into the pits. So, there's a few easy spots made up straight away. A few people have pitted on the first lap. Okay. So, coming up to the chicane, we've got a few people up front. Jocelyn for position, and we've also got Plaz right behind oh, as well. Him. Whoa! Unlucky Jackie. He's looking to send it into the Better chicane as well. Him. So we just let him go. Go. Oh, absolute carnage. As he... That's an unsafe rejoin. Mr. Swiss. As we have two penalties in front. Hopefully that's another two places. Maybe not. Too far away. For some reason I decided to turn into an FIA steward. At the start of lap 3 for turn 1 we do end up going a little bit wide and Tom behind us, he, uh, he was right behind us on lap 1 as well. He just sends it on the inside. Oh that's a penalty. Catches me completely off guard. Whoa! I was going to say how did Tom not get a penalty for that but I did. But that's fair. As Pierre almost bins it going over that. Oh, thank you for that, Swiss. Ah, that's justified. One and a half seconds. Oh, wow. <laughs> As Pierre gets absolutely sent by Anaclex then. I think we'll box. Get away from Tom. When pitting this time, I thought I hadn't crossed the yellow line. However, it turns out I had. Don't cross the pit line again. Not worth another three seconds. Well... I mean, I'm not sure. It must be on the entrance. Oh, someone span up ahead. Crazy tuning. Oh, he's not happy. Thank you.
as we're coming up to the chicane, it seems that someone in front has uh, had a moment and binned it and decided that that was the end of their race and giving us another position. As we're finishing lap 7, Pierre decides to come in for his pit stop and we end up jumping him, moving us up to 10th place. Two laps later we're in the same position again as Tom comes in for his pit stop and we manage to jump him as well. This is just a rinse and repeat moment. We managed to get someone else because of their mandatory pit stop as well. So we're coming up to start the last lap now and, um, and I'm paying a bit of attention to Bolan behind us. As he has been catching us over the past couple of laps as we stupidly give ourselves a half a second penalty here just to uh, increase the pressure a little bit on the last lap as we're coming up to the chicane for the final time I'm wary that he's just over one and a half seconds behind me with our half a second penalty coming up. Ah, oh, okay, looks like Boogie's made a mistake. I don't know what happened there, but it gave us an easy run to the line. That's a win for me. How many places? Oh, four more places. So for our four qualifying laps, we do a 116.0, a 116.8, a 115.5, and we did manage to beat our record by doing a 115.0. And that is the end of episode one. Thank you so much for watching. On the left hand side is a link to the playlist to earn some easy Gran Turismo credits and on the right will be a link to episode 2 when that is released.